Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find area using Green's theorem. See in uh, previous videos already, we have seen how to find area using Green's theorem. So the same formula I'm going to use. So by Green's theorem, by Green's theorem, we can write area of region D is equal to integration over c c is the boundary of that region d okay and a bar dot dr bar so f is a vector field which is fixed so let me mention here where f bar is equal to minus y by 2 comma x by 2 so it it says so area can be calculated by solving line integral right uh, if you take this vector valued function f bar and c should be the boundary of that region d then definitely we will have the area of d same formula I'm going to use to solve this problem, right? So what we have f bar uh, is minus y by 2 comma x by 2 and the most important thing is parameterization of c. But fortunately in a problem itself, they have directly given the parameterization. So the same parameterization I'm going to use. So let me write here, we have, we have parameterization, parameterization of of boundary of d is that is r of t which is equal to what we have t square comma t square by 3 minus t so they have given in terms of i and z simply i wrote as an element of r2 and they have, they have mentioned the limits the, that is very important that means minus root 3 less than or equal to t less than or equal to root 3 right uh, see, as you know, to solve the line integral, we need to calculate first f of r of t and r dash of t. So let us find those things first, then we will go for the line integral, right? r of t we have, so let me find r dash of t. That means it's derivative. But when you have a function like this, we can take the component wise derivative. Derivative of t square is 2t and derivative of this one, derivative of t square, 1 by 3 is constant getting. So we should only focus on t square whose derivative is 2t by 3 and derivative of t is 1. So this is r dash of t. Now I will calculate f of r of t. Okay. So now let me write here f of r of t. So this is equal to f of r of t. Let me put it here. So it is t square comma t square by 3 minus t. Okay. We have some space. Let us use now. See, we have to apply f. We have to use the definition of f. What is our f? Our f is this minus y by 2 comma x by 2. This is our x and this is our y. Okay, so let me follow the definition. So this is equal to what we should write minus minus sign should be there and y this y getting y by 2. So uh, what will I do? I will write directly. Huh? So it will be minus t square by 6 since we are dividing by 2 i'm dividing separately right by 2 we have and this minus minus plus t by 2 so if you want you can write separately but in a single step i have done this thing comma x by 2 what is our x our x is t square so it should be t square by 2 okay so this thing we got now i will find the inner product inner product of f of r of t comma r dash of t this is equal to inner product of f of r of t this one so let me write it here so minus t square by 6 plus t by 2 okay comma t square by 2 and r dash of t where is my r dash of t this one let me write there so this is 2t 2t comma 2t by 3 minus 1 okay inner product is over right so you know well how to find the value of inner product the first component into first component and the second component into second component let me do so 2t minus t square by 6 plus t by 2 i took the product of first two components okay first components now i will take the product of second component so that means t square by 2 into 2t minus 3 by minus 1 so we need to solve now okay let us simplify it 2 to cancel so minus t cube by 3 right if you take a product 2 to cancel we will have simply t square if you take a product 2 to cancel t cube by 3 if you take a product minus t square by 2 right can we cancel any terms here yes definitely right so this t cube by 3 
and this minus t cube by 3 will get cancelled to each other right and t square minus t square by 2 that means it will be t square by 2 only okay so when the when terms get cancelled the problems will be more easy so finally we got the value of inner product is t square by 2 okay so make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so now i am using the definition of line integral of a vector field so this is the definition of line integral of vector field and we have already found out the value of this inner product which is t square by 2 okay so let me simply put it here so limits they have already given to us right so simply i wrote here so this is minus root 3 to root 3 so its value is t square by 2 dt so 1 by 2 is a constant will come outside so 1 by 2 will come outside minus root 3 to root 3 t square dt but did you notice that t square is an even function so you remember when you have even function let me write here when you have even function and limits will be like this minus a to a then we write this is equal to 2 integration 0 to a f if the condition is f is even so here that t square getting the power of t is even number so that's why we can say it's an even function and so that's why what can we write 1 by 2 into we can write 2 that 1 by 2 was already there getting that is a constant but if you apply this formula here so we should write 2 integration what should be the changes in limits if you have minus a to a simply you should write 0 to a so here minus root 3 to root 3 so i should write 0 to root 3 t square dt okay so let us simplify it further let us use this space okay so 2 2 will get cancelled okay what is the integration of t square it is t cube by 3 with limits 0 to root 3 so I, I will put the upper limit first so cube of root 3 that means 3 root 3 we have 3 in denominator and if you put 0 we will have 0 so 3 3 will get cancelled and finally we will have root 3 only but see we are finding area so we should mention here square units right so this is a required answer make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye